Hello. My name is Mikiko Minewaki. Today, I want to talk about my work. I have been enjoying jewelry making for a long time. I'm using plastic model Gundam, which is the main character of a famous animation. Plastic models also become jewelry like this. Plastic models are usually boxed with many small parts along with the instructions. I'm interested in the individual parts that are unique in shapes and colors and by arranging them, I compose into a jewelry. Japanese toy store is full of plastic models and character action figures. These are made from the Pokemon character. Finding hidden gems behind the familiar objects is the theme of my work. To make jewelry, all I have to do is to find and cut the hidden treasures. These are a bangle and a ring made by cutting a soup bowl. These rings are made from disposable writers. It is no longer useful once the fuel runs out, so I just make a hole and cut it. Simply by cutting, the familiar object can result in the whole new pieces of wearable art. In this exhibition, the method of cutting became a part of the work. The shapes of jewelry were cut out through the white table and displayed with other jewelries. I used scissors to cut the stuffed animal and then sewed the pieces together to make a necklace that looked like an empty shell of the ladybug. It's interesting that children who used to play with stuffed animals when they were little seemed to grow up by molting. Cut the monster figure with a utility knife. Even though they are taken apart into pieces, the original charm of each character is still present with its own colors and textures. These jewelries are made here. Many toys are also waiting for the time to be cut. Not a special atelier. I also live in this room as well, while watching the material at any time of the day. I make works in the same way as watching TV and eating meals. While I enjoy making my own pieces, I enjoy jewelry with students at Hikomizuno College of Jewelry in Tokyo. This is a picture of the workshop called table setting. We use a table in front of us as a material. The final jewelry was set on the same table. I also take advantage of the opportunities for students to present their work. This is our 2015 exhibition at Pinacotec de Moderne. It is possible to make jewelry without any special skills or special materials. I also enjoy sharing the joy of making through the freestyle brooch workshop, which you can make a brooch just by pasting the materials. Making works based on the given theme is a new discovery and the process since I have always been inspired by the material itself. While searching for the material that are inspired by the given theme, I came across materials and processing methods that I do not normally use. These brooches were made based on the theme of longing of my hometown. Two years ago, I heard shocking news of a bear showing up at the side street of my parents. Later, I found two wooden carved bears at the local thrift shop and cut them. This is my hometown after prefecture in Japan. Although I can't go home now, 
making work for invisible threat gave me an opportunity to reconnect with my hometown. Jewelry is composed of various elements and can express various things. I'd like to continue to enjoy and share the fun of jewelry.